What's new with Lettuce Eat? A cute craft made from the new seat cushions from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned. I saw these cushions last week at the Dollar Tree for your seat. And they come in four different fun patterns, as you see here. And I am going to be making something awesome with them. And watch the whole video all the way through so you can see what I'm making. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I do all kinds of things here. I do cleaning, decluttering, extreme cleaning, Dollar Tree dinners, freezer meals, cooking, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, free food hauls, and everything in between. Just full of fun, a good channel, good vibes. Let's say subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and tap on that bell, and let's get crafting. I have never made one of these before, so I am going to show you what I'll be doing step by step with the cushions. I'm going to remove the tag, and I'm going to leave the ties here. I'm going to remove this tag as well. I have my glue gun heating up, and I have extra glue stick. Now I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut an opening in the cushion. I have an opening and it has a very thin foam sheet in it. Now I have some polyfill off the right here. And I'm going to stuff the cushion. And we're going to make pillows out of these cushions. It's a great way to, to use Dollar Tree material and make something new with them. When you feel that you have enough polyfill in, we're going to glue the opening up and then I'm going to put some nautical rope around it for an accent piece. And then we're going to see how it looks together. This is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to glue. If you want some nice throw pillows for your deck to liven it up, buy some extra cushions and you can craft with them. I'm going to make a couple of pillows for a friend of mine for their deck. And you're going to be careful because the glue gun's hot and you want to fill a line and push down. I'm going to fill the opening with glue all the way down. Just watch your fingers because the glue gun is very hot. And just push it. Down. Now I'm going to take the ends here. I'm going to tie it. And then I'll put some more glue down on it. And make some cute little throw pillows for your deck. Or wherever you would like to put them. Guest room. Make sure 
sure the glue on both sides. Now you have a pillow formed. Let the glue cool down. And you have a cute little pillow. I'll show you a few, full view when we're done. I'm going to take some of this nautical rope from a previous project and I'm going to glue it to the rim here. Keep the glue sticks going as best as you can and make sure there are no openings. Now we're going to put the nautical rope where the glue was. Just glue along the top. desired amount of rope and where you would like to place it. Again, Watch your fingers, the glue gets very hot. And we're gonna go all the way around the pillow. That's this cute little pineapple theme. I'm going to wrap it all the way around.
need to run another pillow. Concentrating so I don't burn myself. And you're going to go under the bow to finish it off. I'm going to leave the excess rope on the cover where I cut. And this is what it looks like. not very crafty I like to do simple things and I thought why not make a pillow with the seat cushions and I'm gonna start by cutting off both of the tags You don't want them on your pillow. Then you're going to do your slit and then you're going to stuff it and then you're going to put your nautical trim. And I think the nautical trim would look really great with the flamingo. Here is the second pillow, the pink flamingo, and the first one. I think they came out super cute. I really like them a lot. Now I'm going to be making a pizza pan wreath for this. I have my pizza pan. I'm going to make a 4th of July summer wreath on this. And I have everything I need. And I'm going to arrange the pizza pan. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. You will need any of their patriotic signs. Pizza pan. Summer like flowers. Nautical rope. Some of the burlap red, white, and blue ribbon. And of course your scissors and your glue gun your chop mat for the glue gun. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. The first thing I did was take apart my sign. And I'm going to place my star where I would like it. And I'm going to finish taking off the metal pieces. I'm going to leave the handle on because I'm going to glue it so it can work as a hanger on the pizza pan. Now I have some summer flowers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Just gonna pop off their tops. The sprigs this year are spectacular. So life like in high end. And I'm going to arrange my flowers how I would like them. With the greenery. Because I'm going to wrap some nautical rope around the rim of the pizza pan for an accent piece. Once I get everything arranged the way I want it, I'll start gluing down my pieces. And I think I like it like this. I'll just adjust it as I'm going along. Then take your nautical rope. And you're going to glue the 
around the rim of the pizza pan. The Dollar Tree placemats are an awesome way to use on these pizza pans. I did a previous one and I used the Dollar Tree sunflowers on it and it came out really cute and I was really pleased because I am not crafty. I keep trying though. Start another layer until you get the consistency that you like. I'm going all the way around. Just make sure the glue and the rope are snug. Now I'm going to glue my star down before I do anything else on some each point of the star here. I want it right about there. I'm going to take my first flower. And glue it down. The butterfly sprigs were so pretty this year. Some of them I'm just going to put in a vase in my house. Just because I don't use, do real flowers, I tend to kill them. I love taking pictures of butterflies in the summertime. It's going to be 80s towards the end of the week and I'm hoping to get a picture of the monarch. You can take your butterfly I'm going to place them right on top of the flowers. I'm going to add some more rope and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Here's what the pizza pan wreath looks like. And the In God We Trust is up on top. It's going to hang the wreath up because it is a pizza pan. Use some of the burlap ribbon. The star is here. The sprig. It's off to the side, and I think it turned out super cute. I really like it a lot. Earlier, we made a pillow with the nautical rope rim and all the way around it. And I didn't do the other two because I'm getting low on the rope. And then I did the pineapple one, also with the nautical rope. And I think these came out really cute. I love them. And it didn't take very long at all. And I am not crafty at all. I like no skill crafts. I like to do easy crafts. I go on Pinterest to see if I can duplicate something nice that I've seen. I haven't seen anybody craft with cushions yet. And I'm hoping the DIYers here on YouTube will be doing things with these. 
there's endless possibilities with this material. And I'm going to hang this up on my door. I have an over the door hanger and it's going to hang out front. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I do a little bit of everything. A lot of Dollar Tree stuff, Dollar Tree crafting, cooking, freezer cooking, baking. I use Dollar Tree cleaning products when I do my extreme cleaning. There are organization bins for decluttering and organizing my home. And I utilize YouTube and Pinterest to bring me the best information that I need to get it all done. My slogan, get it all done. I say it all the time. We want to get more bang for a buck, so we love the Dollar Tree. Yay, Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you tap on that bell. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up.